This review is of Royal Family Japanese Mochi. This is a mix of three different kinds of traditional mochi flavors. Uh, we've got the red, royal red bean, royal peanut, and royal sesame. I don't know why they're called royal. I don't think it's uh, actually royal, but whatever. Here are the ingredients and nutrition facts. And this is made in Taiwan, so... I don't know why it's made in Taiwan, but, you know, that's where the royal family um, company is located. Does that mean the royal family of Japan escaped to Taiwan? I don't think so. Okay, it's a little bit messy looking uh, because they generally do use um, rice flour to coat them. So you can see here the three different kinds that I mentioned. So obviously the one with the, all the seeds on it is the sesame and then the brown one is the peanut and then the other one is the red bean. Um, let me go ahead and open this up if I can. I think I need my scissors. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. I think I'm going to be the only one eating these. Which is fine. I like mochi. Okay, so we'll try the red bean mochi first. Red bean is probably pinto bean. I'm sorry, not pinto beans, lima beans. No. Kidney beans. Gosh darn it. Red beans are probably kidney beans. It's nice. Not too sweet. Mm, I like it. Um, it's different than the red bean paste. Um, that Indonesians produce, but it's still, you know, it's a mild-ish um, flavor, and not too bad. So let's go ahead and try the, the peanut mochi. Yep, definitely smells like peanuts. So not only is it coated and crushed peanut, and I mean like a powder. There's also peanut paste inside. If you like peanut butter, you're probably going to enjoy this one. Since the three sections are not sealed off from each other, if you have an allergy to any of the ingredients, it's going to be in every single mochi basically I am not a sesame fan but I do it for you okay It's actually not too bad. I'm surprised. It's almost... I almost feel like I'm e tasting meat, but clearly there's no meat. Hmm. Yeah, well, my eye is too messed up to read the writing properly without a magnifying glass. But it's it's interesting, the combination of the sesame and the other stuff 
It just gives this kind of uh, meaty flavor. So it's actually not bad. I'm surprised. I didn't think I was going to like it. But I like it. So this is actually pretty good stuff. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.